Hello and good morning everybody, you're with uh, Martin Penev, Chief Account Executive and Trading Analyst GDMFX. Welcome to today's European Session Outlook. Starting with a brief coverage of what happened yesterday, quite a few um, quite a few events on the fundamental front. Starting with the uh, US markets, the US equity index futures climbed uh, with the dollar uh, after the Republicans won the uh, won control of the Senate, uh, while gold and Brent crude and oil, uh, oil retreated to four-year low. Uh, this is before the stockpile changes comes out today, where we are expecting another massive add to the supply and possible continuation of the downtrend for the WTI crude oil prices. The Dixie index is still holding above the 87 level, and the currency has made some uh, impacts over its main rivals yesterday. The most affected from the dollar gain was the gold. As we have already dispatched our short recommendation yesterday, uh, the price action went below all of our targets uh, and to an year low. The price is currently is um, $1,147 per troy ounce. The commodity traded S&P 500 has declined another 20 pips managed to recover another 10 in the Asian session. Uh, the industrial Dow Jones added another 12 points to another record high at uh, uh, 17,037 level. The Nasdaq found strong resistance at 4,160 points level. We saw light decline in the major retailers report from the Red Book yesterday. Um, also slight decline in the factory orders um, along with a uh, growing trade deficit. Employment changes, services PMI for October and non-manufacturing PMI scheduled for today in the agenda. Um, along with the uh, macroeconomical events in the calendar, uh, we are to enjoy speeches uh, from a few Fed uh, bankers along with the former governor, Mr. Bernanke. Uh, Euro markets, the DAX and the French CAC are uh, facing some negative uh, movements as the euro weakens. Uh, we were waiting on the ECB and the financial minister from the Euro Eurozone to tell us more about their economic um, expectations and they did it in the most dovish way yesterday, uh, predicting uh, lower GDP and forecasted uh, downsized growth. Uh, for next year, as per the lost trust in the euro banking systems and the economic slump in Italy, Spain and Portugal. We are to see the services PMI for most of the larger economies and retail sales outputs for the uh, eurozone in, in general. Yesterday, the PPI numbers uh, were better than expected. The Asian markets, uh, we had a speech yesterday from uh, Governor Karuda from the uh, BOG. Um, he said that the central bank is ready to unleash limitless measures to fight the deflation, uh, which was, uh, which was um, after a positive signs uh, on the money circulation reports and the um, uh, six-year improvement in the wages. Uh, in the beginning of the Asian session tonight, the monetary policy meeting minutes uh, are to be pub published as well. Major events uh, for the New Zealand economy uh, released yesterday with regards to the unemployment and employment numbers. Uh, there we saw quite better than expected uh, uh, outlooks. The labor market is improving uh, in New Zealand and we are expecting the same reports uh, to come from Australia. That is all from, from, uh, from to me for today. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a successful trading day. Cheers, bye-bye.